Good morning, everybody. Chad with Nature Box Pet Emporium here today, getting ready to go to FedEx to pick up our brand new store mascot. At long last, he's finally here. We have had some great weather. Stick around, and watch the video, and find out what it is. All right, so we just left the FedEx office and in the seat next to me is the store mascot. I'm really excited. I didn't like fully open the box. We'll wait for that uh, once we get to the store, but I did check on him. I just wanted to make sure he was okay. He had a long flight all the way from Florida. So we're gonna head back to the store, open him up, and then we will show everybody what he is. All right, so here we go, the moment of truth. We're back at the store. We're going to open up our box and reveal what our store mascot is. I'm super excited. We had a lot of good guesses on what this guy is going to be. Um, a lot of guesses that were saltwater. I can reveal to you that those were not correct. This is a freshwater and reptile store. There's nothing saltwater in our store whatsoever. So nope, it's not lobster, it's not an octopus, it's uh, nothing like that. But ask yourself, what is the best middle ground between reptiles and fresh water? If you guessed a fly river turtle, you are correct. So this is our new store mascot, Renee did guess correctly. Yes. Uh, so we got ourselves a pig nosed turtle. Um, I'm going to let him kind of acclimate and warm up a little bit. We'll put him in the tank and then we will uh, we'll talk more about him. All right, so we let him warm up a little bit. It's time to introduce him into his new home. This is a 180 gallon aquarium with a 75 gallon sump underneath. So uh, total water volume, roughly a little over 200 gallons because um, we don't fill up the 75 all the way but over 200 gallons worth of water. Temperature in this tank is uh, 78 to 80. We have a bit of fluctuation since it's kind of near the front door. pH, uh, we're kind of holding in the high sevens, low eights. Uh, they like it fairly neutral, you know, they could take it down to six. Um, but you know, where this turtle came from, uh, they were keeping it between you know, like seven, six and eight. So we're gonna try and keep it as, um, as near as what it was as possible. Um, in case you don't know about fly river turtles or what they are, or where they're from, uh, they range from Australia into like New Guinea. Um, you know, they are captive bred on occasion, not a ton of availability of true captive specimens. Um, this one has been in captivity for about 10 years, um, came from a good friend of mine uh, in Florida. So they were, they were lucky enough, or we were lucky enough rather, to get this as a donation uh, for our store mascot. Um, fly river turtles will eat just about anything. They'll eat greens, they eat uh, other fish, they're omnivores, they'll eat pretty much anything. Uh, the Probably the two coolest features of them is, and he's making noise down here, he wants to get out of his little container and get in his tank. Uh, the coolest features about them are is that they have flippers. They don't have feet. They are the only species of turtle that has no feet. Uh, they have flippers, just like a sea turtle. Uh, so they're basically 100% aquatic, like a sea turtle, only leaving land to lay eggs. Uh, and uh, yeah, and they also have this cute little pig nose that uh, we'll see here shortly. So the time has come to put him in his tank. Ah. So he's covered in moss. So that'll make a mess, but that's fine. Filter will take care of that. And I'm sure it'll take him a little while to get used to his new home and check things out, get acclimated. But we'll, uh, we'll leave him alone for a little while. We'll come back, we'll get some footage of him flapping around in his new home. But uh, here he is, he's finally here, our new store mascot. A little bit later in this video when we go around and we do the other things, uh, we'll explain to you some benefits you get for wearing one of these into our store. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay, and then the other person I need to introduce everybody to is our other store mascot. So I brought in from, uh, from my house one of our uh, large 
breeder size Lakata tortoises. This is Marge. So Marge was enjoying winter in her her nice shed, uh, but so with the addition of our uh, our other mascot over there, we decided it was time to bring Marge over to the store so she could be somewhat sociable and uh, tell everybody hello. Marge, admittedly, is not the most social of sulcata tortoises, um, but you know I think that'll be it'll be good for her to get out and and make some new friends and whatnot. So we split our uh, our tortoise pin in half. So Marge has this section and uh, the little guys have a little bit smaller of a section which is totally fine because it's still tons of room for them and speaking of cool turtles something new that we got into the store this week is uh, underneath the hippopotamus there you can probably see that bright yellow glow that is an albino red-eared slider so uh, really cool critter you don't see them too often and we're really excited to have in the store uh, that guy will set you back those run about 500 bucks or so just because you can never really find him. There he is. Look how cool that dude is. So he's hanging out with some of the other turtles and one uh, one hippopotamus. All right, and one, uh, one project that we have going on uh, this week is we are getting our chick boxes ready. So if you follow us on Facebook, if you don't, you should. Uh, you will have seen that uh, earlier in the week we posted that we're going to get a whole new section of animals in and Yes, we are getting baby chicks not necessarily baby chicks to eat but the fun kind of baby chicks So uh, I want to say Wednesday of next week. We're gonna get all of the top hat species of chickens So we're gonna get like Polish chickens Sussex chickens um, Just rare different types of fun chickens if you don't have pet chickens um, look into it. It's a lot of fun You get tons of eggs um, um, yeah, they're, they're really fun. They're more fun than I thought they would be. Uh, we have, at my house, we have, well, I want to say we had, we had a bit of a, a predator incident, but up until a few months ago, we had eight chickens, and they were great. They're tons of fun. They eat all the bugs in the yard. They fertilize, um, and the byproduct of that is some farm fresh butt nuggets that are beautiful to eat for breakfast. So what we have going on here is basically just a, a plain box uh, with a uh, polycarbonate front. Um, I'm going to stain this so it's waterproof or water resistant rather and makes basically just make it so it's easy, uh, easy for us to clean. And then these are gonna go on, I need to build three more of these and then these are gonna go on a baker's rack and then we're gonna have uh, maybe put a little divider in so we'll be able to have eight different types of chickens. Uh, we'll hang the brooder lamps up above and it should be really cool. I don't think I've ever been into um, an exotic pet store that has pet chickens, you know, kind of specifically for pet purposes. You know, I suppose if you buy them, you can do whatever you want with them, but we would really like you to, uh, you know, use them as pets and enjoy them and, and have some free eggs out of the deal. Um, so yeah, who's stand by for next week? We'll probably be able to show you on our Friday video a whole bunch of cute little chicks All right about once a week or so at this point maybe once every two weeks or so we get our shipment of, of frozen Feeders so that goes in the freezer there McKenna's opening up So then we sort everything by size so each each uh, shoe box has a different size so like McKenna takes it out of the These ones are full. Uh, the bag yeah, then we put it in there. So we go through several thousand uh, frozen feeders every single week. And then this is how they come in. So they come packed with, with dry ice, which then is always a lot of fun to play with for those of us who are 10 years old like myself. Uh, be careful though, because the cold, cold, cold makes the bag a little fragile. So it's some frozen chips. And all of our sides break down. Frozen packs, so these are the medium wraps, so we have 10 medium wraps, nose bag, large wraps, whatnot. And then we got two big boxes of those. So McKenna will work on that today, and we will be fully restocked on some good old frozen feeders. Like I mentioned earlier in the video uh, about our shirt, something that we are going to start doing next month. So it is February of 2019 right now. So in March of 2019, 
If you wear in a Nature Box Pet Emporium t-shirt, any one of these t-shirts, we will give you one small food item to feed any of our store mascot type pets. So if you come in, you're wearing our shirt, if you ask us, any staff member will give you a small carrot to feed Marge, or maybe a blueberry or a strawberry to feed our uh, Fly River Turtle whose name has yet to be determined. So all you have to do is buy yourself a shirt, come into the store, we'll let you feed one of our mascots. With that being said, just because you offer them food does not mean that they're going to eat it. So we can, uh, we'll give it to you, hopefully they'll take it. And just one more reason to come in to Nature Box Pet Emporium. All right, everybody, and now the moment you've been waiting for. Time to pick our winner for the $100 gift certificate to Nature Box Pet Emporium. In total, we had 111 people who commented on that video. You can see if I scroll through them right here, we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see, kind of, probably, sort of, maybe, not really, you'll just have to take my word for it. There was 111 comments and then I put all those comments into a spreadsheet. All right, so now that we've put all the names into the field required there, we hit the start button, which will pick a name and our winner is gonna come up here very shortly. The winner is Jinx X 88 So let's see if I can get this closer so everybody knows. So Jinx X 88 or Jinx probably, Jinx 88 you are the winner of a $100 gift certificate to Nature Box Pet Emporium. So what you need to do is you need to comment uh, below this video and let us know that, hey, I saw that I won. Um, Comment below, we will reach out to you, and then we'll go from there. If Jinx88 does not claim this prize, we'll do this again next week until we find somebody who is willing to take that money and buy some cool stuff. So, as always guys, we appreciate you watching. If you like the content, consider subscribing to our channel. Hit that little bell thing up here, which will let you know when we post a new video. And as always, if you have comments, questions, queries, or concerns, go ahead and leave us a comment below. We love uh, your feedback and we love suggestions. So let us know what you would like to see and we'll talk to you next time. Have a good one.